Hi everybody, it's James here for our regular Founders Log. I'll look back on the previous month, so look back on July. Me riding solo today because Kyle's away on holiday. We were going to record this episode last week, but I had gone sea fishing the, at the weekend prior and um, got massive sunburn. So uh, I couldn't really record anything because I couldn't buy any headphones on or anything like that to, to hear the audio. But anyway, talking about what happened in July... We onboarded another PR agency. This one was based in Exeter and they were recommended to us by via another client of ours who, uh, who told them to get in contact with us. They were using Google Workspace already, but they had a vanilla setup as you get when you purchase directly from Google. So it wasn't configured to allow their team to get the most out of the, uh, the suite. And they were also paying for licenses they no longer needed. They had a handful of other um, SaaS services. So um, these are other programs that run off the cloud, such for example, they were using Calendly and DocuSign and paying for those tools, but they weren't actually needed because those features are integrated into Google Workspace. So you can use appointment scheduling Google Calendar as a replacement for Calendly. And for DocuSign, uh, just recently, actually, uh, last month, e-signatures for Google Docs rolled out, which is a very similar feature to uh, DocuSign, where you can just send a Google Doc to somebody and they will sign it and it's all recorded and all audited. So um, they were two significant cost savings they were able to make just by moving to Google Workspace by Kimberly IT and getting our advice and guidance on it. We also had a chat with another lead uh, last um, month, but they, they never went, went through, it never went anywhere. They were purely basing their IT on costs. They didn't want to pay anything essentially for their IT. Uh, and as you know, there's always somebody who can do something cheaper. They decided to stick with their legacy IT systems and productivity suite uh, because someone was offering support for that very cheaply. Um, that wasn't something we were going to do. We wanted to move them to Google Workspace and get the modern cloud collaboration tools um, and charge them a fair price for the knowledge that they'll be getting from us. But they, they, they decided to go cheap on that. So I guess they'll, they'll live and learn. Uh, and then at the, end, uh, at the end of last month, I also visited uh, one, uh, one of our clients called Pinpoint Media. Um, and I took my Meta Ray-Ban Ray -Brand shades along. These are the uh, uh, Meta glasses that have cameras built into them. And you can stream directly to Instagram. You can listen to your WhatsApp messages through them and reply to them. They've got some microphones that just sit above your ear. Uh, they are very um, well well built microphones to be fair because no one can actually no one else can actually hear what you're listening to even if you've got music playing through them they're not actually sitting in your ear they're just above your ear but the way the speakers are designed they aim the audio directly into your ear which is fantastic um and for taking photos and videos are brilliant as well so you can take a photo and video at any time you like just by saying the keywords um, okay meta take a video or okay meta take a photo uh, and things like that and again have them instantly bought on instagram or just put into your photo gallery on your phone for you to share and um, they're really good because they give you a first person's perspective of what you're doing so for example i was playing i've been playing swing ball in the garden with my daughter and i've now got video of me and her playing from how it looks f through my eyes essentially which is something i can look back to in the future which you don't get from a normal video or a, a normal photo that you've taken on your smartphone uh, but the ray bands went down really well because they're a marketing agency and i'm pretty sure the next time i'll be visiting they will have quite a few of them around there that they uh, quite a few uh, uh pairs of shades that they purchased themselves that they'll be uh, using and experimenting with going on to our youtube channel uh, one new video got added uh, last month and that was the video showing you how to use the e-signature feature inside google docs uh, in google drive and then um, we had eight new blog posts go live, which was uh, the most we've ever done. Um, one was, again, how to request e-signatures in Google Docs for people who don't want to watch a video. There's also a, a blog guide there for them to follow. Um, how to share your Google Calendar. Um, it's actually a, That's an older blog post that we've redone, re-updated re, re the graphics on it and made it a lot cleaner because, uh, of course, Google changes the interface every so often, so we have to keep our blog posts up to date. We then had a blog post about how a Chromebook is perfect for your team. And that came about because of the um, CrowdStrike incident that you probably all knew about um, that happened in the news and took out lots of computers, about 8 million computers worldwide, caused havoc in the airline industry. Um, if you had a Chromebook, you don't need that kind of stuff. You don't need that antivirus stuff installed on it because the way Chromebooks are designed, they can't get infected. Uh, there's been no recorded... Um, ransomware attacks on a Chromebook ever, or any virus infection ever. Um, it's a modern operating system by Google that runs on a Chromebook. And 
it's because it's not legacy like windows is a great operating system but it's very it's been around for a long time so it has to have a lot of legacy in there to support old programs and things like that so it has vulnerabilities that you don't get in a new operating system which chromebooks use so you should have a read that blog post if you're interested in finding about chromebooks and uh, how they can protect your business and they're actually cheaper than windows and Macs machine mac max as well um Update, update today, another blog post on how to edit Office files in Google Drive. Uh, Google Drive's always had uh, compatibility with uh, Microsoft Office files so that you can edit them. You don't need to have Microsoft installed. A lot of people, when they go to Google Workspace, they, they, they worry that, oh, I won't be able to um, access Word documents and Excel documents. You can. You can do that through Google Drive with no problem whatsoever. Um, edit them and send them back in the same format if you want to. Um, we updated that blog post just because they've made it even easier for you to um, open uh, Word and Excel files and PowerPoint files in Google Drive. The next blog post was how to record a Google Meet video call. Again, this was an older blog post that was updated because the interface has, has changed. Um, and then we also had a blog post on why you should use Google Meet for video calling. So Google Meet has some fantastic features in it, especially with the Gemini AI that's come out. There's a new note-taking feature, which is absolutely superb. It really is fantastic. Um, you, it, uh, you, 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 you turn it on at the start of the Google Meet call and um, at the end you'll have this Google Doc that has a summary of what was discussed and then all the key points. Um, it's only just come out that feature and I've been using it for the last month and a bit and it's got really, really good. It really does pick up the key points and gives a really great summary, uh, which is great because it allows you to concentrate on what's actually being said in the video call rather than having to write down all these notes all the time um, and it's just a really great feature but that blog post shows some other features on there of google meet and why you should be using it then we've got another blog post on how to um, it's the three tips of um, avoiding being interrupted by windows updates so as an it support company we have to keep computers up to date and windows always has updates coming through to it so do macs as well but windows machines sometimes need to reboot to finish installing an update and lots of people don't ever restart their computer so at some point it's a catch-2020 at some point that computer is going to have to restart to install the updates because it, it, it's got to do it but if you're never if you're always using your computer um, and you never turn it off it's never going to have a chance to reboot uh, you know it's never going to reboot and, uh, and, and and install those updates so we have to force it through sometimes and that can happen at an unexpected time maybe you're in a video call and Windows has decided it needs to this is the optimum time to uh, to restart his computer so we've got some tips on there on how to avoid window updates mainly is just reboot your computer every software maybe once a week and then you're fine you'll never get any, you'll never get an update come through an unexpected or poorly timed update come through and, and mess up your video call or anything like that and then finally we did a blog post this is really for seo to be honest um, on why your business needs an it support provider or partner and um, it's just giving you all the reasons for it. The, the vast majority of companies in the UK don't have any IT support. And they're, they're basically, you know, going on, uh, on, on pure luck that nothing bad has happened to them yet. Um, or they just, you know, nothing bad has happened to them. Or they don't see the value in IT support. And this is what this blog post is about. It's showing you the value. It's showing you the time you can save. That's really what IT support is. It's about showing you how to do better things and also helping you when something plays up like a printer. Rather than you having to spend ages trying to work this stuff out yourself once you've got a partner yeah they, we can give you the advice the guidance straight away that you need and it's a hell of a lot of saving because it's the amount of time that you save lots of business owners forget that time costs money and the more time you can save because it's a limited resource the better finally going on to our assist assistance and support statistics so um in july we had 138 subscribers get in contact those are individual users those are um, people that we look after. Out of those, 119 contacted us through for um, assistance. They wanted to know how to do something better. And the remaining 19 were asking for support where something needs looking at, something's not working quite as it should. Probably printers. It's always printers. Printers always play up. Um, so out of those that got in touch, so the ones that were looking for assistance, how to get some, how to do something better, how to learn how to do something better. Um, 98, 70 of them, 97 of them received a complete interaction with five, in five minutes, within five minutes. That means from when they sent the message to us to when they were able to get back to work, that was all done within five minutes. Um, 21 received a complete interaction within five to 30 minutes. So those are people that are probably wanting to know something a bit more complex, um, how to do something slightly better with a, a bit more of a complex reason for it. 
And then again, there was one that took over 30 minutes uh, to an hour. So that was somebody who was requesting something quite significantly complex and it needed some looking into to come back with an answer of the best way to go about doing what they wanted to do. Then out of the ones that got in for support where something wasn't working as it should or not working as expected, nine received a complete interaction and returned to their work within five minutes and 10 received a complete interaction and returned to their work within 30 minutes. Out of all those people that got in contact, 133 of those subscribers contacted us through our unique instant messaging support service, which is always the quickest way to get in contact, and five decided to email. And the stats show that if um, if um, six if the companies had had regular training on how to do things, six subscribers never needed to get into contact because they most likely would have known the answer and never had to message. But that is the wrap up for July, and uh, I'll be back in uh, September. For August's look back and uh, Kyle will be joining us again after a summer holiday. So thanks for listening and we'll speak to you next month. Bye bye.